Hello guys, my name is Mathur and welcome to my channel. This is the sixth tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell programming. In this tutorial, we'll be checking out the mv command, which is used to rename files and directories, and we'll also be learning how to remove or delete directories uh, through the terminal using the rm command. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first uh, create a file using touch. Uh, touch is something that we learned uh, about two tutorials ago. I don't really remember. I recorded it a few days ago. So, uh, anyway. Uh, we type in touch and then uh, give a space character and then type in a uh, name for our file let's call this one uh, anything let's call it uh, forest underscore gump right and uh, I can actually see in my home folder that my file has been created it's an empty text file and that's what touch does for you now if suppose I want to rename uh, this file from forest underscore gump to uh, anything let's say if I want to rena rename it to the green mile then I'll be using the mv command mv I'll give a space type in the name of uh, my file that I want to remain rename which uh, is forest underscore gump and then give another space character and then type in the new name for my file which would be the, the underscore green underscore mile and if I type in enter here then I'll see in my home folder I no longer have my file forest gum because it has been renamed to the green mile that is what MV does for you it works the same for directories if I have a directory uh, called new and if I want to change it to old then you know I'll simply have to type in rm space new space old and press enter and my directory will be renamed the next thing that we're going to check out is how to remove files or directories using the rm command. Now, if suppose I want to remove my file, uh, the green mile, the command to use is rm. I'll type in rm, give a space, and then type in the name of my file, which is the underscore green underscore mile. If I press enter key, I see that my file is no longer there, right? So it has been deleted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create a directory using mkdir and I'll call it new. I press in enter and I see in my home folder that I have my directory right here. Now I'll try to remove this directory using rm. rm space new. That's how it should be because uh, you know that's how we did it for the file so you know let's try to repeat it for a directory but we'll get an error message this time. It says that rm cannot remove new because it is a directory, but then rm is capable of removing directories. You just have to provide it an option so that it knows that what it's trying to remove is a directory, and it you know it's 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 sort of like commanding a command to just obey the orders and you know not think about the consequences. So we'll have to type in rm and then hyphen r is the option, and I just typed in rm first gave a space and then type in hyphen r and another space and this time uh, if I type in my directory name and press enter I don't get any error message and I can see in my home folder sorry that my new folder is not there now another thing that you can do if you do not want to use rm with the hyphen r option to remove directories is let me first create one mkdir uh, test and if I type in enter I see that I have uh, a test folder in my home folder. If I want to delete it without using rm, I can use a command called rmdir. It's a substitute for rm-r. And if I type in uh, the name of my directory, which in this case is test, that's what I want to remove and press enter. I can see that in my home folder, test no longer exists. So that's it for this tutorial. These are the two commands that I wanted to discuss with you guys and in the next tutorial we'll learn how to copy files using CP and also how to create links uh, both kinds of links soft links as well as hard links so stick with me I hope you guys are having fun watching the tutorials thank you so much for watching this this one and please subscribe to my channel